What if you wanted to scroll on YouTube or Instagram and Spotify and have people actually see what you're doing as you're doing it like this? Let me show you how to do that in CapCut right now. The first thing you wanna do is film yourself scrolling, fake scrolling on Spotify, Instagram, whatever. You're gonna set up a camera or your phone like I did on a tripod facing you so it's not moving and you're just going to look at the camera like pretend like it's this one here. You're gonna scroll, pretend like you scrolled three times. You went scroll, look, scroll, look, scroll, look, and then tap. Just kind of in the middle of the screen somewhere. We'll line it up after. The next thing you wanna do is break out your phone and turn on the screen recording. To do that on an iPhone, you wanna grab your iPhone, swipe down from the top right like that. You'll get this screen right here and you want to find an icon that looks like, if I can see it without messing it, that one right there. You tap it and it'll start recording and then you'll jump into your app. If you don't see that icon, you're gonna click and hold right here until these lines appear and then you're gonna add it by clicking on add, what does it say? Add a control here find the control icon, that you know, the one that's a screen recording, and then just add it. Once you've added this icon, you tap it, wait three seconds, and anything you do on your phone will be recorded. You just export that and import it into CapCut. And I've recorded both of these things for you. Link in the description below. You can just download what I did so you can practice and then do it on your own. If you download the elements that I gave you, it's gonna be easier to follow along so you can kind of match things exactly so you can understand this. Now I'm gonna do this kind of slowly. I know a lot of you are beginners. And in this video, you're gonna learn a bunch of things that are very useful for pretty much any video you make. It's not just about learning how to scroll on Spotify. This is to teach you how to use the tools. So let's jump into CapCut and import those two files. One of me scrolling and one of me actually scrolling on my phone, the screen recording. So we're just gonna click on import, jump into here. We've got the screen recording and this file here. I'm giving you both of those again, make sure you download them. The first thing I'm gonna do is drag this clip into the timeline. I'm gonna hit shift Z so it fills the timeline. I did it twice, there's once, then I did it again. There's twice, I think the second take was better. You can use either take, doesn't matter. I'm rocking out there and I guess we can start it right there. To add an edit and delete all of this stuff, I just type the letter Q and because I have the track magnet on, it sucked everything over. So this is gonna be our starting point. And look what I did, I scrolled once, twice, three times, then I tapped a song and then I'm rocking out to the song because I'm a rocker and boy, you should see me dance. And then we're gonna find where we want it to end before I turn the camera off. So we'll just end it, I don't know, about right there. It gives us about 12 seconds. Again, I'm gonna hit Shift Z one more time. So this fills the timeline. I wanna tweak this a little bit to help the color. I'm just gonna click on the clip to make sure it's highlighted. Go to Adjust, and I'm gonna click on Auto Adjust, and that makes the colors pop a little bit more. I'm gonna turn the intensity down a tiny bit. When you export things, you tend to lose some of the intensity, and I like things really intense and saturated, so I kind of bump up the saturation a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bump the saturation a little bit more, just for some more fun, and I'm gonna turn the highlights down a little bit so that side of my face isn't so bright, and bam! I look friggin' amazing. Next, we want to place a marker where I am scrolling or tapping the screen. To do that, I'm just gonna scroll through here and wait until my finger starts to flick. So like right there where it's starting to flick, I'm gonna type the letter M to add a marker or click on this marker icon too. Markers are a great feature, so you want to learn this. These aren't just random things. These are things that real editors actually use. So I'm going to click on this the first time and later I'll type the letter M for the next one. Right when I'm starting to scroll, there's one, Go to the next one. I'm using the arrow keys to go one frame at a time, so it's right when I start to flick, I don't know, right about there. Add another marker, I'm gonna type the letter M. And I've got one more flick here, boom, right there. I'm starting to flick, letter M again. And then I tap the screen to play the song, like you saw me do, and you wanna be right on the tap. Boop, there's the tap, boom. And I want another marker right there, and that's gonna allow me to line things up. Because I feel myself doing this, and then I film myself scrolling, but it wasn't all actually in sync. That'd be kind of impossible. We're gonna have to do some magic to make it all line up with speed shifts. So I'm gonna type the letter M for that guy. Next, we're gonna drag the screen recording down to the timeline. I also did this twice. You can see that I was trying to find stuff to scroll, and then I started scrolling there, 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 played that music, and then if I hit Shift Z, I can see the whole thing. I'm looking at these waveforms, and I can see that I redid it and started scrolling right around see here, I guess, right? I'm using the mouse to get roughly where I need to be, and then I wanna use the arrow keys on my keyboard to get exactly where I wanna start, which is where the scroll actually begins to move. So I'm using my arrow keys now, and bam, I saw where it started. 
Bam, that's the first frame of it moving. So I'm gonna use the letter Q to add an edit and delete that, Q. And now I'm going to drag this to that first marker because where that first marker is, is where I started to flick my finger to scroll it. And I'm gonna hit Shift Z so this fills the timeline. And then I'm gonna drag this forward so I can see the screen recording the entire time I'm on the screen. So I'm just gonna click and drag this forward. And you can't see what's behind there, but just to see what's going on, to have an idea that it's, that it's gonna line up and work well, I'm gonna turn the opacity down for this for a second. So click on Video Basic, go down to Blend, and drag the opacity down. This is just a quick check so you can see what's going on. Bam, it's scrolling with me. That's, that's pretty great. In fact, let's double check and make sure it's scrolling exactly. I'm gonna go, yeah, that's probably needs to go back one more frame. And I'm just being precise here and showing you how real life is because things in, in tutorials, you know, they're all edited and you don't see all the mistakes people make. I like to show you the mistakes so you don't make the same ones. You don't think it's all perfect and easy because it's, it's never perfect and easy. So let's go back a little bit, back one. See, I, my finger hasn't clicked it yet, but it's already moving. So I need to move this back a frame probably. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of perfect there because now my finger's flicking. So it's all lined up, lined up perfectly. I'm going to drag this back all the way so that the screen recordings are the entire time I'm there. And next, I want to go to the beginning of this whole video clip, and we're going to crop the bottom. What we're going to do is crop this out, scale it up a little bit, and then we're going to add a reflection below it and line up all these other beats. How do we do that? Sounds complicated. It's not. Part one, crop. I'm going to click on this crop icon. I'm going to crop it right around to, I don't know, edge of 17 right there. I'm going to click Confirm. And then I'm going to drag this up and crop out the parts that I don't want, like that stuff I don't want. And reality is, edge of 17 is not, I need, I need more down here. I need a couple more songs down there. So I'm going to click on the crop icon again and add two more songs like that. Click Confirm. That looks great. I'm going to turn the opacity back up. We'll fix that in a minute. And next, we want to make sure there is a feathered edge down here so that when we scroll it, our reflection looks kind of legit and real. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on Mask, select Add Mask, select the Split Mask. Now, a, mac, a mask just lets you see behind something. I can see behind a circle. I can see the rest of this stuff. I can use a pen to draw things. I can use a rectangle right here. But I really just want a line here so I can show the top part of the clip not show the bottom part of the clip, and then add a mask that feathers it. So I'm going to click on Split right here, and I can see this line. I'm going to drag it down all the way to the bottom, and then I'm just going to drag this icon up to feather it. So see how that feathered a little bit like that? Looks pretty good. And then we're going to duplicate this and stick the other part underneath there. But before I do that, I want to make sure this is all dialed in and all perfect. To do that, we just want to change the blending mode, how this blends with the background. Now you can mess with these modes under Video Basic, but the one that kind of works best in CapCut for this with a black background, if you have a white background, this might not be the one, you might try Multiply, but Screen works for this, and then bam, now we can see it in front of me, and we can do a quick check and make sure that still looks good. Bam. I'm starting to scroll. Looks really good. I want to add the reflection below this right now before we try to trim these up with speed changes. So I'm just going to click on this guy, hold down the Option key, and drag it up. And I've duplicated. Now there are two layers of the same thing. There's layer one and layer two of the same thing. You can tell because the color got a little bit more vibrant there. But this one's going to go under it down here. To do that, we're going to click on this icon here and choose Mirror. See, it made it backwards. And then we're going to go down here again and choose Rotate Twice. So it rotates it around once, twice. So it's upside down. Boom, boom. And then I'm going to click and drag it underneath here so we can see this reflection. And this lines up about right here. And you can see we've got, we built the city. We built the city right there. And now we can see what that reflection looks like by going like this. That looks good, except obviously that second scroll didn't exactly line up. Now, before I show you how to line all these up, which is really important, you should know that I cover all these tools and so much more in my course edit with Trevin Master CapCut. I just updated the whole thing so it's with the current version of CapCut. You learn everything you need to know to become an insanely good editor to use this tool. I cover virtually every feature this has, including an entire section on the AI features in CapCut. If you want to learn to edit and you're serious, you start tired of messing around, click on the link up there or in the description below or just go to mastercapcut.com. Let's resume. We've already found the points where I'm starting to scroll. We want to find the points in this screen recording where the screen is moving. And to do that, this first one's already lined up. We did that one really well, but it's going to happen again. And it doesn't happen until, let's see, where does it start to go again? Right there. So I'm using 
my mouse to find it and my keyboard to find exactly where it starts going fast again. And it is right there. Do you see that? Bam, right there. So it's going to add a marker on the bottom clip. By clicking on the bottom clip, it's highlighted and selecting marker. And I'll click on the top clip and select marker by typing the letter M. And I always use keystrokes. You always want to use the keystrokes. If you're clicking around up here, you're wasting time. You want to use keystrokes for everything possible. Now let's find the next time it does it. Oh, see that? It did it again. Uh, where is it? Bam, that's where we're starting to move again. So I'm going to add a marker to this clip, marker to this clip. And now we're going to find the point where the song starts to play. So when I tap it, the song plays immediately for best effect. And that's kind of easy because if I hit Shift Z, I can see, oh, the song starts right there. There's the music. So let me just line up my playhead right there. Click on the bottom clip, type letter M. Top clip, type letter M. And now let's go ahead and line these guys up. I just not need these markers to line up and we will be done. So there are two things. We could either speed up or slow down this clip or these two clips. And for this first one, we're just gonna modify me. I'm gonna take this section of me and I'm going to slow it down so that these markers line up. So what I'm gonna do is position, and this is not precise. This is a, a rough guesstimate. So we're just gonna add an edit before and after this marker. So I'm gonna hit Command B to add an edit here and then hit Command B to add another edit right here. And I'm going to slow down this clip. Right now it's going too fast. I need this to go way over there. So to slow me down, I make sure this clip is highlighted in the timeline. I go to speed and it adds these handles here. And I can just drag these handles over until that marker lines up. And again, it's it's a rough guesstimate and you can mess with this and, and uh, add edits in different places or, or kind of screw around with it. But you, you want to actually do this. You understand how this works. And then I'm going to zoom in exactly and precisely see, oh, it lines up right there. Let's see how that looks. And just to test it as you go and make sure it's doing what you want it to do. So we've got scroll, good. Scroll again, looks great. Next, I want all of these markers to line up. And in this case, I was going too slow. I need it to speed up a little bit. So I'm just going to add an edit right past that, hitting Command B. I'm going to click on this clip. I'm going to go to video speed and I'm going to position my playhead right on top of those two markers and make this guy line up by speeding up this clip. Again, I could drag this handle that way, which would speed it up, which works. Or I could just go up here under the speed tab and click on this up arrow until it speeds up enough. And in this case, look at 1.3, it's too far behind. 1.4 is too far after. So we have to jump down here or type in, you know, numbers here. And I'll just drag this back until it lines up exactly. Oh, perfect. It's lined up. Boom. And now we just need to line up my finger tap with that. How do I do that? So right now, this thing is still moving. I don't want it to keep moving. I want it to be stopped completely because right here, look how long this has stopped before I tap that. See how that, now that makes sense? So I want this to line up with this. Now I could speed all of this stuff up, but that would be like a big mega speed. We don't want to speed things up a zillion percent. We just want minor things. All I really want is for the scroll to stop and then me to be able to tap. So the scroll stops right here. I'm using the arrow keys to move forward until it stopped completely. There it stopped completely right there. I'm gonna add a cut right there, select both of these clips, hit Command B, and then I just want this to be the very next thing. So I'm going to just add an edit right here with the letter Q drag this back to here. So now we see me tapping here, but the music starts playing here, but it's right because the, the scroll has stopped scrolling. Stop scrolling, then I can tap, but I need to line up my finger there. So, so what can we do? We could potentially just slow me down and bring me to there. Let's try that, see if that works. Let's go ahead and add an edit here, Command B. Add an edit after it, I don't know, somewhere around there, Command B. Then I'm gonna slow this down by clicking on speed, and clicking on this guy so it goes slower. Oh, that was pretty good right there. It's not exactly lined up, so I'll just drag this slider over here. And these speed change things are really important to learn how to use. You'll use this for all kinds of things. And that's lined up pretty good there. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now that doesn't look great. I slowed down way too much for that. So let's undo that and do it in a different way. And I'm showing you this. I'm showing the mistakes because it's going to happen. You're like, ah, slow down to 40%, way too slow. So let's go ahead and undo all that. So we really want to just speed up this part right here so it, so it jumps back. So let's go ahead and add a cut here instead. Actually, maybe right here. I'm going to highlight both of these clips, hit Command B, highlight those guys, go over to speed. And now we're just going to go ahead and speed that up a bunch by clicking up, 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 up. 
And that actually landed pretty good at 2.1%. And then we're going to 2.1x. And we're going to drag this to here. And this should look pretty close, but you're going to see another issue that we're going to fix. Scroll, good. Okay, everything was great, except I didn't click in the right spot. What do I do? What I want to do is make sure my finger is right there where I'm clicking. So I'm going to have to move me. To do that, I'm going to scale me up a little bit. And my head's going to be a little bit higher. But, you know, I think that's, I think that's going to work anyway. It's going to look pretty legit. I think that's going to work. So I'm just going to trim it to right here to get rid of everything. Boom. And you see we have one more problem. Like, oh, no, I jumped there. That didn't work. Looks, looks pretty great, except I'm too small here. How do I fix that easily? I, I simply click on this clip. I right click. I choose Copy Attributes. I select all of these clips. I choose Paste Attributes. So it's going to copy and paste the scale. All I want, I don't need the audio. Don't need any adjustments. I just don't need any blending. Don't want to mess with anything else. I just want location and size. I click Paste. And now all these guys are the same. And let's go ahead and watch this masterpiece, which looks, incidentally, a little bit different than the open because I guess I used a different section or something. But, but here's, how it, here, here's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. One more scroll. Let's click it, dude. That's super cool to do in your videos, but those features you learned about, like markers and speed changes and blending modes, are vastly more important. So go ahead and learn all about those in my course, Edit with Trevor Master CapCut, down there. And also, YouTube thinks you want to watch that video right there because it's a rocket video!